that all of us might know your love through it. And I just pray for your Holy Spirit's presence now. And I just pray that above all that you'll be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. It's a lovely day out there, so I'm going to uh, get on in a minute after this. So and enjoy the day. Please feel free to mirror the video if you want to mirror this video. Um, be nice if Christians could mirror it or people who are supporters rather than <laughs> other folk. So anyhow let's get on so Ephesians 3 for this I Paul the prisoner of Jesus Christ for you Gentiles if you have heard of his dispensation of the grace of God which is given me to to you would how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery as I wrote afore in a few words wherein when you read you may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of of his men, of men, as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs and of the same body and partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel, wherein I was made a minister according to the gift of the grace of God even unto me by the effectual working of his power, unto me who am less than the least of all saints is this grace given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ and to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery which from the beginning of the world hath been hid in God who created all things by Jesus Christ to the intent that now unto the principalities and powers and heavy, heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of God according to the eternal purpose which he proposed in Christ Jesus our Lord in whom we have boldness and access with confidence by the faith of him wherefore I desire that you faint not at my tribulation for you which is your glory for this cause I bow my knee unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith that you being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height and to the know the love of Christ which passeth the knowledge that you might be filled with all the fullness of God now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages world without end amen amen <clears throat> Paloma Faith she wrote a song it's a good song by the way only love only love can hurt like this only love can hurt like this must have been a deadly kiss only love can hurt like this we can all go through difficult times and we can all go through challenges in our life and in the hurt of wondering whether someone loves us or not we can ask the question what's the future hold for us well, God has three things for your future today. First of all, he has the grace of God for you. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 7. If you have a Bible, please get your Bible out. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 7. says, Wherein I was made a minister, according to the gift of the grace of God, given unto me by the effectual working of his power. Wherein I was made a minister, according to the gift of the grace of God given unto me by the effectual working of his power Ephesians 3 7 
He was a, a minister of the grace of God. The grace of God. The undeserved mercy of God. That is what he was a minister of. He was a minister of the grace of God. Imagine a hospital with no nurses. Imagine a fire station without firemen. Imagine an army barracks without any soldiers. What is a hospital to, to be doing? It is to be looking after the sick. What is a fire station to be doing? Looking after fires, trying to put them out. What is an army barracks for? It is to produce an army in order to fight a war. Well, what is the church for? What is the church to be doing? Well, the church is to be a minister of grace like Paul. Paul saw his task, says one writer, of being a channel of God's grace to men. Paul saw his task of being a channel of God's grace to men. One writer Charles Spurgeon says, I am bold to tell you that my master's right riches of grace are so unsearchable that he delights to forgive and forget enormous sin. The more glory to his grace. No matter how sinful you've been, no matter how bad you've been, you can be forgiven today. Enormous sin, enormous wrongs, enormous failure can be covered under the blood of Christ today. And I thank Christ, says Paul, Jesus our Lord, who hath ennobled me, for that he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry. He was before a blasphemer, but I obtained mercy because I did it ignorantly, in unbelief. And the grace of our Lord was exceedingly abundant with faith and love which is in Christ Jesus. 1 Timothy chapter 1, 12 to 14. Who was before a blasphemer, a persecutor, injurious? He was a really bad man. But he says, and the grace of our Lord was exceedingly abundant. Our gra the grace of our Lord was exceedingly abundant. Every sin that he committed, the murders that he committed, the blaspheming that he committed, God forgave him. One writer, a liberal theologian, Barclay said, But in the ancient world the barriers were complete. No one had ever dreamed that God's grace and privileges and love were for all people. The grace of God is for all people. I don't care, again, what sins you've committed. I don't care how many times you have committed them. I don't care if you're the, the Mexican mafia and you've done stuff that you shouldn't have done. You can be forgiven in Christ. 1 Timothy 1.15 This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am the chief. He was the chief of sinners and yet he was forgiven. God can forgive you and show you the grace today. I remember once the principal was talking to me, uh, Dr. McGonagall of the seminary that I was at. He said, Jason, the, the grace of God can cover all sin. All sin. All failure. All your mistakes. All the, the things that you have ever done wrong, God can forgive. He can wash it clean and he can make you anew. That's what he can do for you. Don't live in a in a fear, don't live in a shackle, don't live in a, a prison of guilt because God's grace can come to you. Grace is undeserved mercy. Secondly, the riches 
of Christ for you. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 8. Unto me, who am the least, the, less than the least of all saints, is his grace given, that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ. Ephesians 3 8. Unto me, who am less than the least of all saints, is this grace given, that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ. The unsearchable riches of Christ. I've said this before. Tosini, uh, a musician, was leading people into a museum, a music museum, and he came to the piano of Beethoven, and he was there with these folks showing them the piano of Beethoven. And he said this, Gentlemen, I am nothing. You are nothing. Beethoven is everything. Beethoven is everything. If the Apostle Paul was here, he would say, Gentlemen, I am nothing. You are nothing. Christ is everything. It's all about Jesus. In him, dwelleth all the fullness of Godhead bodily, Colossians 2, 9. In him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Yep. All the riches of God are in Christ. All that you need is in Christ. For Christ is God. I saw the story last night and I'll say it again. The great train robbery, they stole all that money and they took it in the 60s. They took it to a farm. There they had all the money. They had all the money and they thought they were rich. But if you believe in Christ, you are richer beyond them because you have all things in Christ. Because he's God. In Acts chapter 19, 17 and 19, and this was known to all the Jews.